Hey everyone out there, Kurt from FullOnDrums.com. Today we're going to be going over installing a snare gut or snare wires correctly. This can be a source of problems for a lot of drummers they may not even know about. It can lead to wonky or weird sounds coming out of your snare drum. It can be your bottom head perhaps is tearing quite frequently and you just don't know why. Maybe you can't get your snares as sensitive as you want them. Or you just like me and you like to see everything you know centered up and straight and ready to go. I'm going to show you how to do that today, try and make it easier on you. If it's been intimidating for you thus far, you might find that this makes it a little bit quicker for you. So here we go. I've got a Chad Smith snare drum here from Pearl. I've got the butt plate and the strainer both with the jaws loosened up and ready to go. I actually have my strainer in the on position. I want to stress that. It's not in the off position. It's in the on position and I've loosened up the fine tuning adjusting knob about as loose as I can get it. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to grab the snare wires. Now we want to make sure that these are facing right side up. The easiest way to tell that is, is on the top side, you can find script logo from most modern manufacturers. If you don't see that, the best way to tell is flip it over. You will actually see where they've soldered the wires on. That's the piece that you always want facing down on the snare head. Today I'm going to be using plastic banding that was provided by Pearl to go ahead and install this into the butt plate and the strainer. And here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've slipped this into position and what I've got here is I've got the tape on, I've got it passed through the snare hoop and I'm going to go ahead and install the tape now into both sets of jaws. So I've got to go into the butt plate and I'm also going to go into the strainer at the same time but I'm not going to tighten anything down. Okay, now that that's done, what I'm going to check for is, is to make sure that I've got the uh, pieces of plastic pulled evenly. I don't want them to overlap. I want it to be just like I've folded a piece of paper in half, so no overlapping pieces. We don't want these to break easy, and we also don't like it when it pokes us in the leg when we're playing drums. So after I've checked that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to pull on both pieces of plastic that are sticking out, both from the strainer side and from the butt plate. The reason for this is to simulate tension that's going to be on the snares anyways. Remember, the butt plate stays stationary, so you're just pulling tension on the snare drum from one side. So when you want to center these up, you have to anticipate in your mind, okay, this may not look centered, but it's going to be pulled taut. And in doing so, you're going to pull that slack up. So, there we go. I've gone ahead and I've added the tension. I've simulated where it's going to be in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop pulling. Just going to let go of the strainer side. I'm still holding on to this side on the butt plate, but I'm not pulling down on it. I'm just holding it in place. I'm going to secure it. Now that that's in place, I'm going to come over here to the strainer side, do the same thing. Okay, and now that we've gone ahead and we've put the, the plastic straps here or your wire or whatever you're using through the jaws, we've tightened them down, the one thing we want to check for is to make sure that they're sitting in the jaws evenly. What I mean by that is, is that you want to make sure that everything's centered. I wouldn't, for example, want the butt plate to have anything pulled to the left and then have it pulled through the jaws centered on the strainer. What that can do is it can cause tearing of the wires very easily. It can also cause the snare wires to not sit level and you're going to get weird buzzes in your snares. You don't want that. Now that I've got them installed and everything's cranked down, I'm going to go ahead and show you how loose I actually have these wires set up. So I'm going to flip the drum over here. Let me hit it for you. As you can see, I've actually got a tom tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit this, and as I do, I'm going to tighten up the snare wires and bring them into play. Okay, and there you have it. Check them here, nice and centered up and good to go. You can run them as tight or as loose as you need to, to your own personal taste. But no matter what, I hope that this has helped demystify some of the stuff that goes into installing snare wires correctly. I hope you enjoyed this, and thank you so much for watching. This is Kurt from FullOnDrums.com saying I'll see you next time.